Hello and welcome to a discussion on how to value inventory using FIFO, LIFO, and AVERAGE under the Perpetual Method. After viewing this video, you should be able to compute the value of any inventory reported on the balance sheet and the cost of goods sold reported on the income statement using the Perpetual FIFO, LIFO, and Moving AVERAGE method. Under FIFO, the cost of the item sold is the first cost purchased just before the sale. The first item purchased is always the same regardless of when the sale occurs. FIFO gives the same value for inventory and cost of goods sold under both the periodic and the perpetual method. The perpetual method records the sale and the cost of sales at the time the sale occurs. Under LIFO, the cost of the item sold is the cost of the last purchase just before the sale. The last cost changes with each new purchase. The perpetual method uses a moving average to determine the cost of inventory just before the sale. A new moving average is determined after each purchase. The cost of the sale is recorded at the last moving average and a sale does not change the moving average. Let's use an example of inventory transactions during the quarter to demonstrate the perpetual method. When the purchase and sale occurs matters when using the perpetual method. The first step is to list all transactions, purchases and sales in chronological order. Let's walk through an example of perpetual FIFO. The first step is to list the transactions down the left side along with the cost of beginning inventory and purchases. Then out to the right, create a column for the units sold and the cost per unit that will be assigned to those units. The sale on February 2nd is assigned the cost from beginning inventory, the first cost. The next purchase occurs and the sale on February 18th is assigned the cost of the rest of the beginning inventory units, the first ones in, and the rest of the sale is assigned the cost from the first purchase. The total cost of sales is reported on the income statement at $13,900, the cost of the first one's purchase before the date of each sale. Part of the inventory purchased on January 15th still remains in inventory along with all the other purchases after this date. The perpetual method gives the same cost of goods sold in inventory as the periodic method using FIFO because the first ones purchased are always the first ones sold regardless of when the sale occurs. Now let's walk through an example of perpetual LIFO. The first step is to list the transactions down the left side along with the cost of beginning inventory and purchases. Then out to the right, create a column for the units sold and the cost per unit that will be assigned to those units. The cost of the units sold on February 2nd is the last purchase cost just before the sale on January 15th. And then the cost of the purchase just before that, from the beginning inventory to get to the total of 600 units. More units are purchased, which become the last ones purchased just before the next sale, and the assigned cost of the February 18th sale is the cost of the last purchase just before the sale on February 5th, and then the units that were left from the beginning balance to get a total of 700 units sold. The January 15th purchase was already used and is not used again. The total assigned cost of the units sold during the period is 14200 Notice I'm saying assigned cost, which is only an estimate, because the actual cost of the units sold is not known. The units that were not assigned as sold remain in ending inventory. Notice that some of the beginning inventory units are left, and the last purchase has not yet been sold. The units in between January 1st and March 15th were all sold. The first step in computing inventory using the perpetual moving average is to list the purchases down the side and compute the total cost of purchases just before the sale occurs. A new moving average is always computed after each purchase. The moving average is computed as the total cost of inventory at the time divided by the total quantity of units on hand at the time. 
The first moving average is computed from 14,900 divided by 1,400 units currently on hand. The moving average is used to assign the cost to the next unit sold and a new ending balance in units in cost is computed. The next purchase is added and a new moving average is computed. A moving average is always computed after each purchase. 13,316 is divided by units on hand of 1,200 units to get the new moving average of $11.10. The last moving average is assigned as the cost of the next unit sold. The last purchase is added to get the final value of ending inventory. After viewing this video, you should be able to compute the value of ending inventory and cost of goods sold using the FIFO, LIFO, and movie average methods under the perpetual method. Please go to studymyaccounting.com and work through practices you learn for examples of how to compute the value of inventory and cost of goods sold using the perpetual method. Then work the practice test. Please write out your answers and check your understanding to the answers provided. Thank you for being prepared for class. It is much appreciated.